We're going to continue on. Um, as I mentioned in the last video there, I was going to jump ahead here with the sculpting of the boulders um, using the same technique with the foamy brush and then scraping and kind of defining the rock and boulder structure on the character um, a little bit before we move on. So using the exact same techniques, I've just built up some rock and boulder structure here. What we're going to do now is move into something a little bit different uh, technique on this guy here. We want this kind of root structure to build up, kind of twist around this leg. The idea is that we have this kind of tree-like um, structure built throughout the rocks, the stones, and the boulders, almost as if it's kind of holding it together or that the rocks or the stones are built around this rooty uh, tree structure. And then we have this tree coming out of his back, so we're going to work on detailing that. Right now, in this uh, session here, we're going to focus on building up that root structure on his leg. So I'm going to use the wax tool here, and I want something with kind of a sharper fall-off so we get a bit of definition here. Same idea as with the boulders, um, with the rocks there. What we want to do is start to rough in that overall form. So let's start to take a look at how we build that in. So if we start working with our wax brush, I'm just going to check my... Let's use the spacing down to um, five or six is fine. And we can just start with a bit of a larger brush here. And all we're doing at this point, again, is working in the overall form or base structure here. So just get um, a little bit creative with it and try to work in some overall um, structure or form that kind of fits the idea of this kind of root-like uh, tree base along here. So I'm just using this wax brush to kind of work in these thick kind of roots here. And we can also have it twist around this leg here. So just get a little creative with it and start moving in all of these roots, building up. The wax brush is nice because it, it builds up, gives us building up a material kind of effect or feel here. Um, you can actually change the overall effect or feel of the wax brush quite a bit by playing with the fall off. For this here, I want a little bit of a cut in there with that fall off, so I'm going to stick with this and just keep working in the overall um, feel or, or structure there. That's a little bit too big. We'll undo that and just keep building in these these kind of roughed in shapes here for how the the root structure or the the shape of this tree is um, down to these kind of rooty toes here. So. I'll just keep building in these these overall structures and you can see I'm overlapping as I go. The difference here is if I'm using the sculpt brush you're not going to get that nice kind of build up overlap effect. You're going to get more of well a stroke that just follows over top of another one. Um, with this here you can kind of build up on top of existing strokes here and blend them together quite nicely so that's kind of what I want here with working with the uh, the base structure for this root here and I'm just using the default setting here with the wax brush. Um, I have it s the strength up to 100. Um, I'll start playing with the strength and brush size a little more once I kind of define the overall uh, setting in here. I'm actually going to undo that one there because I'm going to bring this around a bit. So maybe we get some root structure that kind of wraps around here a little bit. Kind of bring it down into the bring it around to these toes a little bit here. And then what we can do is start adjusting our brush size and start overlapping some more of these structures. So right now I'm just defining that overall root structure down to these toes and I want some of this to continue around here as well down to the bottom. So we can just kind of twist these, twist or wrap these roots kind of around the the toe here and probably what I'll do is I'll build up a bit of a structure here on these toes just to kind of sharpen them a bit um, near the end once we once we get this definition worked in a little bit. Some of these gaps I'm going to leave open because I'll take the inverse of the wax brush and start to work in some you know some kind of holes or grooves in between here so an idea might be down around this ankle in here, or maybe even up around this knee here. There's a good spot there. If I hit the control key and start to inverse that, and just start to kind of bring in a bit of a kind of a cavernous effect here. And this is where we want to start to use some of the viewport filters to really help with kind of a depth perception or an overall feel of detail or relief that we're getting on our structure here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to 
turn on my cavity ambient occlusion. I'm gonna leave it at good for for the for now, but I'm gonna put it up to best. It just gives a little bit of a better appearance of how your fall off, your overall effects are happening as you sculpt. And we'll just carve that guy in a bit again with the control key. And I'm not really smoothing, uh, using the smooth here, the shift. I'm just kind of building in this overall structure. This kind of twisted kind of structure here. And this is, again, where the wax brush is really nice. You can see I'm just kind of overlapping this structure on here. And I can start to build these in. And then maybe in between some of these, let's carve or cut in a bit. So again, with the inverse effect, I'm able to cut in a bit there. So we'll do that. Just keep building in this, this structure as we work. And bring it along the toes there. Get this kind of rooty structure built in. And then I'm going to inverse that. Kind of push in a little bit of a pocket in there. Smooth that out a little bit around there. So this, with this, the thinking here is I don't want anything too um, overly defined too sharp I think along the toes it's kind of neat to leave it maybe a little bit sharp kind of a claw like effect along those toes but I think along the tree there itself will leave them quite smooth quite rounded so I am using the shift key here to smooth out a little bit here now and let's put some kind of underlining put a groove in there a little bit of a groove smoothing that out and then just kind of build up a bit of these roots here. So this wax brush, much, much like the foamy brush, excellent for building in structure like we did with the rocks there. Same idea. I'm just building this up a bit, carrying it down towards the toes so it is kind of a flowing kind of look to it. Let me just keep building these guys in here and carry it around the edge. I mean you're not really going to see the bottom of this this guy's feet as much, but I think whenever you're detailing a character, whenever you're doing a sculpt, it's good to continue it, right? So continue it underneath, even the areas where you're not necessarily going to see it. Um, you want to kind of continue that down so that if from some angle you do get to see underneath that foot, you at least want it believable that the roots are, or even with the boulders, are continuing around the feet there. So this is a good spot to maybe work in a bit of a hole like structure in there. So I'm doing this really quickly with the wax brush. We could certainly build up some custom vector displacement maps to build these holes along with the actual root, the structure wrapping around it that I'm building here right now. But because I'm just roughing in this overall shape right now, this will do fine for what I need. There we go. We'll just keep building that in. And we'll fill in this gap here with some more twisting kind of rooty structure on here. I'm not really concerned at this point of course with any kind of bark like effect. Um, when we get to detailing these um, or defining and detailing this kind of wood like root like structure here later uh, we're going to use some uh, vector displacement sculpting tools as well as um, some bump mapping to paint in and, and texturing of course to paint in the overall effect. So this is starting to get kind of there. Now we can start refining this a little bit, so maybe a little bit of a sharper, whoops, let's use a little bit wider on that wax brush there. And I'm actually going to turn the, the strength down. I'm going to use my M key, bring the strength of the of the tool down a little bit. And now I'm just kind of breaking up these big roots a little bit, putting a little bit of definition in there. I'm just kind of blend that down in. And kind of fill this up a bit in here around his toe. 